My note two is on the XL version of this little mount that I just did video on. So, um, The Walking Dead. Okay, so I'll be watching it uh, when season three, right before season three started. My wife kept trying to get me to watch it, and I, I wouldn't, I didn't get into it. It's just no, nah, couldn't, couldn't get into another show. Dexter was the only thing I ever watched, and. Anyways, so I did. I sat down and watched the first episode of the first season, and I was like, "All right, let's let's do this." So like, I watched season one. And I was like, "This is awesome." So like, you know, cool, you know, they're looking for the girl. Uh, season two, I guess I don't remember. The little girl was a zombie. So anyways, season two, um, what's even better? And then season three has been kind of crazy, and um, they've been like. When I watched season one and two back to back, like they were going from one place to another trying to find a place to live and a um, place to stay. So I don't know. When are they going to wear out the, their welcome at this uh, at this prison? Is it going to be this season or is it going to be later on? Like, we don't know. What, what I'm trying to say, and I'm bad. <laughs> this is why I like to edit because I. I what I'm trying to say is, like, how long are they going to be at this prison? Is the prison going to get overrun? Or are they going to take over? Is Are they just going to, like, move on and find something else? Like, where are they going to go? And, like, what are they going to do? I don't know. And there's, like, this episode and the next one. And it's, like, um... 7.23. So, it comes on in about 37 minutes. Get my daughter ready for bed. Just got her dressed from... <sighs> you know, my wife's like, I got, I, I gave her a bath, you need to get her dressed. So she comes in here, and she's got a towel around her, and then she's like, she runs in there, she has to root palsy, so she falls a lot. She falls, and <laughs> loses the towel, and then gets back up, and it's like, <laughs> anyways, it's a sight to see, it's all I'm gonna say. And, um, not something you want to see. <laughs> but, so yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm excited. I want to see how this goes. Um, this this guy's up to no good. This governor. Freaking, I wish Andrea would just finish him off. And every time she gets the chance, she either chickens out or someone stops her. So it's like, freaking, just, just do it. Just get it over with. But, uh, yeah. So I'm excited. I need to get into more shows. I need to get into Breaking Bad. I just, I, as you know, have a job, and on my days off, I do videos. So I really don't have much time to get into a show. But I'll have all the time in the world here shortly um, after Friday. So I'm I'm excited. I need to get into more shows. I want to get into uh, Breaking Bad. I want to get into more shows. Um, I was into Heroes. Like, it was on Season 3, and... I watched all of, or it was on season four. It was on season four. I watched all of season one, two, and three back to back to back. And then I get caught up to season four and they end it. Like, they freaking end it. You wait like months and months and there's no show. There's no, no new episode. And you're like, what the heck? And then they just ended it. Like, and I remember when I got into Heroes, I was like, do I get into Supernatural or do I get into Heroes? And I got into Heroes over Supernatural just because I like, I liked it better, and they ended it. They freaking just ended it. And Heroes was a good show. I really, really wish Heroes was still going on to this day. I'd, I'd still be watching it. So, this whole thing is fun to play with. Um, yeah, I don't know what to talk about, except for The Walking Dead. I'm excited. I want to wait till it comes on. Dexter's got one more season left, but freaking, it's not going to be on till September. It's it's almost April. We're almost April, so it's it's exciting. Uh, April, May, June, July, August, September. It's six more months. Six more months until Dexter comes back on, and then they know they said they know how they're going to end it. So I wonder if it's going to be a Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing where Dexter and Deborah both like get caught and then like escape somewhere or 
they're not going to kill Dexter. So I don't know. I, I have no clue where they're going to take the next season. All I can say is, is it's awesome. It was awesome when, like, you watch Dexter first and then, or The Walking Dead first and then Dexter, or whichever way it was. I can't remember, but it was like one would come on right after the other. It was like back to back. Or no, I think they both came on at the same time. Yeah, they would both come on at the same time, and then you just go on DVR and watch. Um, what I would do is watch Dexter first, since it's a premium channel, and there's no commercials. And then I would just watch the recording of The Walking Dead and fast forward through the commercials. Who likes commercials? I don't, unfortunately, ads and commercials are how people get paid. It's how people can afford to make a TV show for free. Because the people that make the commercial pay like, I don't know, $500,000 for you to see their product for 30 seconds or however long the commercial is. So that's how they make their money. And with like Dexter, it's like we're paying to see that. So I'm excited. The Walking Dead. Ah! <laughs> and then uh, I'm, ex I'm a little irritated that HTC One got delayed. I really am. I I cannot get over the fact that you'll be able to hold your phone like this and the speakers will be on the side and the sound will be facing towards you. Because like with this and the Note and all the other devices, you got your hand like this and you're trying to get the audio to direct towards you. So not with HTC One. Plus it's got that 1080p front camera. So videos like this, I know my hand... Like, that's the edge of the video, and right here, too, and then that's the top and the bottom. So I know exactly what's in the shot. You can see this little wheelchair, and you can see my tripod. Um, I know exactly what's in the frame. And 1080p, you know, the quality's even better. Not that I, not that my face needs to be in 1080p, but you get the idea. Uh, but yeah, so the HTC One, I... I like the 4.99 inch screen on the S4 because the Note 2 has a 5.5 inch screen. So if I was going to like downgrade my screen size, I would want like 4.99 inches to me sounds better than 4.7 because 4.7 is kind of like where most devices like this and the HTC Evo 4 GLT and all those other devices are. But with that 1080p screen, this whole screen 1080p and the 1080p front facing camera and the speakers out in the front and the aluminum glass body, that has me sold. It really does. The battery life, 2300 milliamp hours. I don't know. I could live with it. This one's like less than 1800, I think, or it's right at 1800. And you can't get through but like 12 hours of use. And the, the, no, the S3 has a 2100, and you can get about 12 hours easily out of it, or more, depending on how much you use it. So I guess 2300 wouldn't be too bad. And then I got that um, 7,000 milliamp hour nutrient battery pack, which I can honestly say that, like, my car doesn't have, like, I can't charge my devices while my car's off, and I'm not going to leave my key in my car and go somewhere, so I can just, you know, start it up. And, <laughs> funny story, my truck's a manual and my car's a manual, and someone was like, does your air work in your truck? And I was like, yeah. He's like, can I sit in your truck? I was like, sure. And so, like, I get out there, and, like, <laughs> it couldn't figure out how to start it. Because <laughs> there's that third pedal, and you got to push the pedal in to get start. It's like, it's a safety feature. <laughs> oh, man. It was freaking great. Uh, forgot where I was going. Forgot where I was going. Anyways... Oh yeah, the new trick battery power thing. Um, I have it in my car, and I can charge devices. I, from a like nine percent charge on my on my uh, Note Two, I charged it from like nine percent up to a hundred percent. I think it had like three bars left because the new trick thing has four when it's fully charged. And then I fully charged this from like five percent to a hundred percent, and I had like two bars left on it. So that little freaking thing is a beast. It, I can charge my Note 2 at 2 amps, so like, it's like I'm plugged it into the wall with a 2 amp charger, and it charges it as fast. When you, when you go to the battery, you know how like if you charge your phone using a normal USB port on a computer or like a car outlet or something, it says USB? 
you're, you're getting like 500 milliamps. It says AC when you're using the USB port or the the charging pack in general. So I highly recommend that thing. The HTC One non-removable battery. So that pa that power pack will come in handy. I can if my battery's about to die, I can just you know put the two together. It's got that built-in thing on the side. You just pop it out, plug it in your HTC One. A couple hours later, you got a full battery, and you can do it a, about three and a half times before the new train thing. I just keep talking. I need to shut the frick up. Um, Walking Dead, very shortly. I'm excited. And, uh, oh, the Joey Cool and other people want to see more videos of the car thing. I got a bigger Gorilla Pod coming. And this one's real tiny. Really tiny. If you saw my tweets on Twitter with the camera with my DSLR on it. It's really tiny. But I'm getting a big one that holds like seven pounds, and it's it's like the second to largest one. The largest one's like a hundred bucks. This one was fifty, and I'll be able to just wrap it around my car, around the uh, headrest, like I had this one. Except it wasn't wrapped around it; it was just kind of hanging over it because it's too small to wrap around it. So I'm gonna wrap it around it, and then I'm gonna have my Canon Power Shot recording. So it should be a much more stable video, and I'll do more like that, driving around and stuff. Um, I would get into a lot of trouble if I had a V8. Like, I remember back when I had a three-cylinder, five-speed Chevy Metro, 1999 Chevy Metro. Loved that car. It was 2009, like, gas was like 230 a gallon, and if someone who was like, I only got $8 for gas, and you're like, dude, that's a freaking full tank of gas. I loved that car, except it let me down too many times. I went to... Uh, the light turned green, and it was one of those things where like people were coming, and you're supposed to yield, but you had plenty of time. You gave it gas, you jumped out in the middle of the road, and then it would like be running, but it wouldn't go. And so like everybody in the car with you is like, go, 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 and you're like, get out and push. <laughs> so I loved that car. I loved putting you know twelve dollars in it and filling the tank up, and that going for like four hundred miles. But I was I saw this Camaro. It was a V8. 5-speed 350 Camaro, 1983, it had the big drag tires in the back of it, but it was like, they weren't drag tires, but they were big tires, like bigger than the front ones, and uh, really wide. I wanted that car so bad, he wanted like, uh, he wanted like, I think he said two twenty two thousand something for it, 2000 something dollars, and man, I wanted that car so bad, a V8 with a 5-speed manual transmission. There, I, the light would never turn green without my tires spinning at every single launch. There'd be no way. I wouldn't be able to not spin the tire. Like, I, ah, I've gotten a reckless driving ticket for spinning tires and I got lowered to a careless. And then I got another careless driving ticket for a stop, for stop sign accelerating too fast and set up spun tires. Anyways, I, I would, uh, I'd never, I should never have a car with more than four cylinders and a five-speed manual transmission. Just, it would be very bad, and I would be, I'm still, like, my insurance, because of those two careless driving tickets and an accident where both of us were at fault, anyways, like, I'm still waiting for that crap to drop off, man. I got, like, three months before I can go get, before my insurance gets lowered again, so, it's freaking, it's just not worth it. You get... I don't, I don't, like, people do videos of them racing, and I'm just like, that, it's not worth it to me. It's not worth it. Like, you get pulled over for doing 90, 100 plus miles an hour, you're going to jail. Or, if you do donuts or something, you're going to get a reckless driving ticket. So it's like, I don't know, it's just, I'm getting older, and I don't like paying $250 a month for insurance when I could be paying $100 a month. Um... <laughs> it's just not worth it to me. It's, I don't know. I still like doing it, but it's just like I'm I'm a lot smarter now. Like like uh, if it's in a rural area where there's not a cop for miles, or there never will be, then you know it's then I would I would have fun. But if it's in like an area where a cop could be right around the corner, then it's I don't know. I don't like paying more money for something when because of anyways. I'm not. This carried on way too long. Go watch The Walking Dead. I will be here in a little bit when it comes on.